If you raise chickens, buying feed is probably your biggest expense. At Heifer USA, we've designed strategies to feed chickens without skimping on nutrition or breaking the bank. In this video, we'll discuss what to feed your chickens, how to reduce feed waste, and how to track your chicken's growth with a free downloadable resource. Stay tuned until the end of the video when I'll show you exactly how to calculate your feed cost per chicken. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Sam Noble at Heifer USA and I'm the poultry production specialist. I've been working with poultry for over 10 years now and today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about feeding chickens and the first thing you need to know is what type of feed to feed your chickens. Here at the ranch we have a feed that's formulated by a nutritionist that comes from Hostetler's feed mill and it is a ration that's designed by Ralco. There are two main categories of chicken feed. First, starter feed provides a hefty boost of protein for newly hatched chicks. And that's gonna range anywhere from 19 to 21% protein. That protein is gonna help them to grow as well as maintain their body weight. Here at the ranch, we have chicks that start on 21% protein. When your chickens move out to pasture, you'll provide grower feed, which contains a lower percentage of protein. It's gonna have that lower protein percentage so that they can focus more on maintaining their body weight and not growing super large. And that way they can still maintain an active lifestyle outside because we move them every day. If they were to gain too much weight too quickly, they're not gonna be able to be as mobile when we move them in our schooners. And they're gonna have a better lifestyle and not be so overweight. Providing the right feed at the right time is crucial for the physical health of your birds and the financial health of your farm. Small scale farmers and DIY ranchers often choose to formulate their own chicken feed with ingredients like corn, soybeans, and fish meal. The pros of this would be that you know exactly what's going into your chicken feed and some of the cons might be that it is a little hard to source some of the ingredients such as the fish meal. You're gonna have to specifically order that from either a website or your local feed mill. Note that formulating your own feed will be more expensive, but it will allow you to control exactly what your chickens consume, which is a priority for many regenerative farmers. Another way small-scale farmers provide robust nutrition is by offering food scraps to their chickens. When tossing out leftover produce from your garden, you could share the bounty with your birds. Our chickens love cool watermelon scraps in the summer and hearty pumpkin chunks in the winter. But can your chickens consume all the nutrients they need from just food scraps? I would say no. Chickens are monogastric and they require a specific diet of food. And if you only give them scraps that does not meet their feed requirements, they're gonna not be as healthy. They're gonna be a lot slower to grow and to finish out. If you want to treat your chickens to a snack, give them fruits and veggies like apples, cabbage, and strawberries. But don't rely on these scraps for nutrition. Avoid materials that are toxic to chickens, like raw vegetable skins from avocados and potatoes, or leaves from tomato and pepper plants. And of course, Never give your chickens alcohol or spoiled food. Instead, provide a boost of nutrients with one of our favorite products for pastured poultry. If you want your chicks to get off on the right foot, I suggest you use a product like Grow Gel. Grow Gel comes in a packet. It comes in a powder form and you mix it with water. So when you pour that powder into the water and you start to mix it, it will turn into a bright, vibrant green color. So they will run to that food where you are sprinkling it on top. They will eat the Grow Gel, they'll eat the food. It is is full of lots of healthy nutrients and vitamins and probiotics and of course because you added water it also hydrates them so it's a really good idea to put in the brooder to help them get a good kickstart of that life if you have pastured poultry another thing you're going to want to feed your chickens is grit no not your breakfast food grit is a small pebble like rock that your birds will eat and they will digest that rock down into their gizzard and it'll hang out in their gizzard and just help them to mash up their food and then it'll improve their digestibility because they won't be working as hard to consume that food and pass it down and utilize the nutrients that are from their feed. Now that we know what to feed broiler chickens, let's discuss how much feed you'll need. Let's say you're raising a batch of 100 chickens. For the three weeks that they live in the brooder, you'll need about 200 pounds of feed. For those of you doing the math at home, that's two pounds of chick starter feed per bird. Or, to get really technical, about a tenth of a pound per bird per day. Once they move out to pasture, they'll grow faster than ever. In four weeks, 
100 broilers will consume about 1,100 pounds of feed. That comes out to 11 pounds of feed per bird, or four tenths of a pound per bird per day. You can use these ratios to estimate your feed needs, but remember that each farm and each animal is different. Now, let's talk about the best way to save money on your farm. Here are our favorite ways to reduce feed waste in our pastured poultry operation. The best and most reliable way to prevent food waste is with proper storage. So here on the ranch, we like to use these grain carts that we have. They hold about three tons of feed each. So what we will do is fill them up directly from our feed tanks and haul them down here and feed them directly into the schooners. This is watertight, it blocks the sun, it doesn't allow bugs or any sort of rodents inside it. That's gonna be bad for that feed. Don't have a fancy refillable grain bin? No problem. Our favorite low cost alternative is the humble trash can with a lid, which helps keep water out and prevent bugs, rodents, mold, and other hazards from spoiling your feed. So you're really gonna to wanna to find a nice, dry, dark place for your feed. That's gonna help your feed to last longer and not have to waste your feed by buying more because you keep having it spoil. Another pro tip, don't buy feed in bulk. Chicken feed expires after one month, but it'll start to lose nutritional value after just two weeks. If possible, purchase feed two weeks at a time. It may be more expensive, but it'll allow you to provide your chickens with fresh feed for their entire lives. But how do you know if your feed has gone bad? Here are the telltale signs that you've got low quality or expired chicken feed. So some of the things you can see physically in your chickens, you can have feather pecking, cannibalism, poor bone structure, as well as really slow growth rates among the chickens. You can avoid feed waste by selecting proper equipment and providing sufficient feeding stations for your birds. Use the links in the description of this video to outfit your pastured poultry operation with gear that's farmer tested and farmer approved. If you're enjoying this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment below to let us know. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any feed spillage that can be the result of broken feed pans, you spilling the feed as you're dumping it out, or any of the chickens scratching the feed, making a mess of the food where it's gonna be going on the ground. Because anything that's spilled on the ground is gonna be waste and more money out of your pocket to replace that feed. So you'll see here that we don't have any spilled feed on the ground. It's all contained inside the trough of this feed pan and therefore we're not wasting any feed with this style of feeder. So this type of feed pan that we have comes up to their crop area, kind of their neck area, and they're gonna be able to reach over, dip their head in, eat that food. Whereas if this were too low on the ground, they would be able to kind of hang out in it, scratch it. This type of feed pan I really like because it has a lot of depth to the feeder where they won't dig in it and scratch it and dump it on the ground. Before we got these metal feed pans, we had a plastic red type feed pan. I wasn't a huge fan of those because they broke a lot. Because we move these schooners forwards every day, anything that it would catch on, they would a lot of times break and spill feed. We had a lot of feed waste with them. And then when we switched to these metal style feed pans, they immediately cut down a lot of our feed waste. So I highly recommend getting a metal feed pan and especially making sure that you have it at the correct height level and the correct depth in the tray. So I can raise and lower this cylinder here from brackets inside. So if I wanted the feed to be a little bit higher on this trough at the bottom, I can change the level of that feed. Right now I have it low because these are, they're older birds, they have plenty of neck to reach over and eat this food and not spill any of their food. Another way to avoid feed waste is to eliminate feed competition. Provide enough feeders to accommodate your flock. So feed competition is when there's not enough feeders, not enough feed space for the number of chickens that you have. One thing you're gonna really wanna make sure to pay attention to is that your chickens aren't all swarming the feed pan and there's not enough room for the other chickens to get in and eat throughout the day as well. So if that is the case, then you don't have enough feeders. If your chickens swarm at feeding time, check out your records. Unequal growth rates among the flock could be a sign of feed competition. Bigger birds will bully their smaller flock mates, 
consuming more than their fair share of feed. Keep your chickens chill and well fed by following these spacing standards. In the brooder, allow at least half an inch of feeder perimeter per chick. In the schooner, allow at least one full inch of feeder perimeter per chicken. For our example flock of 100 chickens, we'll need to provide 100 inches of feeding perimeter. If you need a quick and affordable way to increase your feeder perimeter, these lightweight pans are a great short-term solution. But beware that they can increase feed waste over time. Overall, our best tip for reducing feed waste is keeping thorough, detailed records. Regularly collecting data on our chickens and their feed consumption helps us keep track of feed waste and expenses. Once a week we will take weights so that we can check that they are up to par on target with their weights and compare them to our previous flock historically. We can track that so we know if there's any sort of feed waste going on, if we're going along with the proper feed types that we should be for a certain age. And then we also record things such as mortality. This record sheet will show us what we are doing correctly and we'll also have a great history for when we need to look back and see where we went wrong if something did happen to go wrong. You can download your very own copy of this record sheet at the link in the description of this video. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the question we get asked more than any other, how much does it cost to feed chickens? Though we can't assess every farmer in every situation, here's a formula that you can use to estimate your costs. First, determine the feed cost per pound by plugging in the price of your preferred chicken feed and dividing it by the size of the bag. An average 50 pound bag of chicken feed can range anywhere from $20 to $40. We'll use an average price of $30 per 50 pound bag, which makes our feed cost about 60 cents per pound. Throughout their lifespan, each chicken will consume about 13 pounds of feed. Now, we'll multiply the total feed consumed by the cost per pound. With each 50 pound bag at $30, we'll spend an average of $7.80 to feed each chicken throughout its life. If you farm on a large scale like we do, you'll probably buy feed by the metric ton. When buying in bulk, we pay 28 cents per pound of feed, which lowers our feed cost to $3.64 per chicken. The size of your flock, the breed you raise, the formula you create or purchase and even the climate of your region can impact the cost of your feed. Now that your chickens are well fed, keep them hydrated with our tips on automatic watering systems for broilers. Or take a virtual tour of Joe's farm, where Joe Coopson raises over 30,000 broilers on pasture every year. 